Great job, Lily. Our next speaker will be former, uh, former Senator Kelly Ayotte. Mrs. Ayotte was the Attorney General of New Hampshire from 2004 to 2009. She served as the U.S. Senator for New Hampshire from 2011 to 2017. Senator Ayotte's husband, Joseph Daly, is an Iraq War veteran, and their daughter is currently attending Annapolis. Senator Ayotte is always a longtime attendee and speaker of the Woodbury School Veterans Day program. Please welcome Senator Ayotte. Well, Principal, I really appreciate uh, being here, and I love the new gym. So congratulations to everyone from Salem, uh, Superintendent Palmer, all your hard work. Um, this is a beautiful facility, and it's amazing that you have your, your family here and to your grandfather. Thank you uh, for what you've done for us. Uh, and as I look around this room, I really appreciate everyone who's here, Senator Hassan, Senator Morse, uh, our Adjutant General, General Michalides. Uh, this is a wonderful ceremony, and it's always so special to be here at Woodbury School. But most of all, I just want to thank our veterans. Seeing you here just makes my heart full. Uh, our veterans know better than anyone that freedom is not free. And they have sacrificed so much for us to be here today, for our way of life, for the things that we cherish, for our Constitution, uh, for the, the values that we have, our freedom. So to all the kids that are here, the veterans that are here today, they're incredible people. So we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for what you have done for us, for showing us what it means to be an American. I also want to thank the family members who are here of our veterans, because I think our veterans would agree, uh, our, you don't do it alone, uh, the wives, the girlfriends, uh, the, the children that have supported you along the way. And as uh, the Principal Barry mentioned, my husband served, and we got married right before September 11th. And when we got back from our honeymoon, uh, he deployed to the Middle East. So I know what that feeling is like uh, when you don't know what's going to happen. And the feeling also, most importantly, of when he came home, how happy we were as a family. And as uh, Principal Barry mentioned, we now have a daughter who is following actually in my husband's foot, uh, footprints. I will say we love Annapolis, but she's actually at the United States Air Force Academy. And, <laughs> and you know, certainly the Naval Academy is phenomenal too, but she's following in her father's footsteps and hopes to be a fighter pilot as well. And I know General Michalides' uh, son is also uh, following in his footsteps, and he's uh, now in training, and he's gonna be joining the Army National Guard, so thank you to your son as well. In fact, if you think about uh, our military, I always like to mention this statistic because it's a really important one. Less than 1% of our population, less than 1% defends the rest of us, the 99%. So they're very special people uh, that they step up to make sure that the rest of us can be safe. And they don't do it for money, they don't do it for fame, they do it because they love our country. And they do it to serve. They do it also because they care about each other. There's nothing like the camaraderie and uh, the, the brothership and the sistership of, of being in the military. I've already heard it from my daughter, and of course I've heard it from my husband as well. Uh, they care about us, that's why they serve. So let's take a moment today not just to thank them, but let's remember that every day is Veterans Day when we see our veterans, and to say thank you when we see a veteran uh, 
walking down the street when we see someone wearing a World War II hat or a Korea hat or Vietnam say thank you for what you have done for our country. And as we stand here today, uh, there are our men and women in uniform serving around the world in very dangerous places. And Senator Hassan talked about what's happening around the world right now. So let's not forget those who are away serving right now. And let's make sure that if we have the chance around the holidays that we write a letter that can go to our military uh, and get to them overseas so that they know we care about them and that we pray that they all come home safely. Every generation of veterans has sacrificed so much for us. They have given their lives for freedom and we honor them on Memorial Day. And some have never returned. I wanna thank the Salem Junior ROTC for doing such a beautiful job this morning. Uh, they are at this ceremony every year and it's a very important, solemn ceremony to remember and honor our POW MIAs. I also wanna take a moment to thank uh, and recognize Chief Master Sergeant Tom Puzo, who has uh, done an amazing job, <laughs> Chief. So Chief Puzo has mentored so many young people. Uh, he himself served in the Air Force for 30 years. As I understand it, he has uh, led and taught uh, the Salem Junior ROTC for over 22 years. So thank you for all the service that you have given our country and the mentorship you have given to the young people of Salem. And to the Woodbury students who are here today, I hope you consider serving our nation when you're older. There are wonderful opportunities uh, to go to college, to have your college paid for, to serve our country in any of the branches of our military. You can attend one of our excellent military academies. You can get an ROTC scholarship. You can go, uh, General Mechalides would be happy to talk to you about our, our, our National Guard and the important jobs that they have for our state and for our country. But even if you don't serve in our military, there are so many opportunities to serve and to give back in your community. Uh, you're gonna hear from Joe Byron next, who's gonna talk about the Honor Guard. You could volunteer for a veterans organization. You can help show our veterans how much you care about them by serving your community and serving others. And I think this ceremony at Wibbury is, is the very best veteran ceremony in the state it, because the students here understand the importance of Veterans Day. By your actions, you show how much you love our veterans. We've already heard from Mia and Lily, their amazing essays. I know we're gonna hear from Declan. And um, I also have to say thank you to the lady who organizes this every year and does an amazing job, Cindy Woodbury. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you know Cindy comes from a military family, but that's a lady who loves veterans, so thank you, Cindy. We can honor our veterans every single day by following their example, by coming together as a nation, remembering that we are all part of a cause greater than ourselves. We are Americans, home of the free because of the brave. Today, we honor those with true courage, I want to end again by thanking every veteran who is here. Without you, we would not be the great nation that we are. So thank you. May God bless our veterans, and may God bless the greatest nation on earth.